There are three types of batteries to power your mirrorless camera. Today, I'm gonna help you figure out which one's the best one for you. Camcorders traditionally have the better deal when it comes to batteries. You have a very open slot and you can simply just use a larger battery if you want more battery life. For mirrorless cameras, we simply have a one size battery slot and that's it. We can't just buy a bigger battery. You can buy a battery grip that's more for photographers, in which case you're gonna be bulking up your camera just to be able to put two batteries in. In some cases, that's not what you want. There are two additional options alongside just a regular old battery. We have a USB battery bank with 18 watts of output power, or we have something known as a Cine battery. I did a series of battery tests at 4K 24P on my Sony a7S III, and these are the results, these are the battery capacities. When I put the price next to these three batteries, you'll say to yourself, wow, that USB battery bank is a steal. And it really is, but it might not be the right battery for your situation, especially if your camera doesn't have PD charging capabilities. So let's talk through this real quick. You'll want to use an in-camera battery if you are traveling and you're trying to keep things light, you don't want wires everywhere, or if you're on a film set and you're trying to get this camera into a small tight space and you can't bulk it up. Cine batteries come in a bunch of different capacities. In my test, I was testing the smallest one provided by ZG Cine, thank you so much, but I do also have their larger one. So why are Cine batteries so expensive? Well. The main reason is because they have a lot of output because its sole job is not to just power the camera itself. It's meant to power everything. Some Cine batteries will have ports already on the battery itself, which is great, but some other ones will require you to put it onto a battery plate that breaks out into a bunch of different voltages. And because of that, you're able to power your camera, an external monitor, a wireless transmitter, and pretty much anything else that you can think of. The best part of using a Cine battery is that you're charging one singular battery that's going to power the entire system, instead of having to charge a whole bunch of other batteries. Which brings us to the final bit of using a USB battery bank that's capable of 18 watts of output. Where does this fit in? Well, it's basically if you need long extended recording and your camera is not moving a whole lot. If you do want to keep a battery bank on your camera, you'll definitely have to rig it out, maybe with a cage and a little clamp, and that way you can have it somewhat in a small setup. But where it's really going to shine is for people that are filming lectures. Lectures where that camera is going to be sitting around on a tripod and it's not really going to be moving except for panning left and right. In which case, you can simply tie this battery bank to your tripod leg and run a wire up to your camera and you'll be good to go for seven some hours. And the good thing about this is it's hot swappable, which means once the battery bank is dead, simply unplug it and plug in a fresh USB battery bank because the camera will have gone into its internal battery that's still fully charged. So therefore, you don't have to stop recording, turn off the camera, switch everything out. You can simply hot swap it and you'll be good to go. Not only that, for people that are shooting extended days on set with a gimbal, as long as your gimbal cage is big enough, you can use this USB battery bank as part of a counterweight, or you can simply strap it somewhere where it's not going to add any additional weight to the carriage. You're basically, again, able to hot swap it and not have to mess with the camera balancing of your gimbal, and you can shoot for essentially the entire day. If you want to learn more about filmmaking or just what gear to purchase in general, I have some more videos for you right here.